The city of Virginia Beach wants your input on home sharing companies. You might remember the city passed an ordinance to collect tax revenue from homeowners using companies like Airbnb. Well, now Virginia is working on a law to regulate the home sharing apps. Tomorrow, the beach plans to hold a public hearing on that very topic. And our Matt Gregory joins us with more on why the city is so concerned about these. Yeah, apps. Laura and Stephanie, at last estimate, the city revenue office believes there could be anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 homes advertised on Airbnb in the city. So far, they only have tabs on 168. It's a loss of revenue for the city, and according to city officials, it's an unregulated industry here. With the state poised to make a move on regulations, Virginia Beach wants people to have their input. One look on Airbnb.com and you can see all the peer-to-peer -peer rental properties available in the resort city. That's fine. It offers another opportunity for folks to come and, and have a rental opportunity, but in Virginia Beach. Phil Kellum is the Virginia Beach Commissioner of Revenue. He says there are thousands of properties that the city has yet to collect lodging tax on. And the models that we have run, we believe that it could be as broad a spectrum as a half, one and a half million to two and a half million dollars. Councilwoman Rosemary Wilson says they began looking at the issue earlier this year. In May, an ODU student was killed at a home rented off Airbnb. Wilson says neighborhoods have complained. People want to come here, so we're going to be a mecca for these places. And so if we don't do something now to try to get some type of oversight, uh, we could have some serious problems. In the next General Assembly, state leaders will address the issue of peer-to-peer -peer renting. But they're having a meeting in October that's really important, and we're trying to gather our thoughts what we want to influence that October meeting. The City Council has formed an ad hoc committee to study the effects. They'll have a public hearing Wednesday night in the City Council's chambers. Wilson and the other council members want your input. Yeah. So it'll be firming up some of those things of what, what you can do and what you can't do. Um, it's, it's really important. We've got to protect our, our neighborhoods. That meeting starts at 6 o'clock in the council chambers. The comments and information given will be part of a study sent to Richmond at the end of the month. I'm Matt Gregory, telling your side.